These are some basic instructions for the HP 4050N, but the instructions will actually work with most of the HP laser printers that have uh, this kind of a control panel interface. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is go to the menu, and uh, it's very helpful to have a printout. I'm going to menu, as you see here, I'm choosing the information menu, and then item. Uh, chooses the sub-menus. So within information, I can print the configuration page. Um, for some of these settings, you might want to change a value, but in this case, I'm just going to print push select. So what's going to happen is a configuration page will print out of the printer, and that'll tell me some things about how the printer is configured, how much memory it has, uh, if it's on a network, what the IP address is of the printer, and that can help in setting up a computer to print to this printer. Um, but for this video, what I want to demonstrate is, uh, apologize for that squeaky noise in the background, it's kind of humid so there's a little bit of uh, squeakiness on the rollers. But anyway, what I want to demonstrate then, uh, here, here are those printouts, um, is if you're having printer trouble, if you're having trouble printing to a printer like this, let's say it's on a network or something, you can go into the menu here and you'll see the first one is the information menu, uh, paper handling. Eventually you'll scroll through and you'll find one that is the resets menu. Um, once you get to the resets menu, then choose the sub item, reset memory, reset factory settings, and then press select. When you press select, it'll reset the printer back to the factory settings. And the reason you might want to um, to have that done is if you're having trouble printing to the printer, resetting it might help. You want to be careful not to um, lose any of your personalized settings, but that shouldn't happen uh, because the printer, even on this one I just ran a test, I did a reset to factory default, and uh, it still remembers the user specified manually configured IP address. So anyway, um, that's basic introduction into how to use this menu. One last thing would be you could go into menu. Here you have the information menu item. You can print a menu map so you can visually see what the submenus are, what the various settings and values are, um, and how to navigate the menu for the printer. When you're all done, you can press the Go button to go back online and have the printer in the ready state.